Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. We are so excited that you're here because we finally get to share with you our tulips that we've been growing this season. And they have done super well this year and we're gonna share with you that process that we took. That was a little bit different than previous seasons if you've watched those videos. But in the meantime, they are absolutely beautiful. And what we've selected to grow this year was the Misconfection blend from Color Blends. And it has been amazing, definitely stopping traffic in the front yard. I had some leftover tulips from that planting and I didn't want to have any of those go to waste, obviously. So I thought I would just stick them back here in our raised beds before we plant our garden for this season. And it has given us a little bit of color, which was interesting because it is a mixed blend of bulbs. So I planted them and we have the two colors, which is kind of like a dark pink and a white. These open kind of a creamy color creamy white and then eventually as they age they turn to pure white so I got a mix on this side but behind me I don't know if you can see that I ha ended up with planting all white bulbs but anyways the weather this year here in Southern California has been absolutely ideal for tulips you never know what we're going to get every year sometimes we can have hot weather that really zaps the blooms quickly which in the end um, shortens the amount of bloom time that we have but these things have been almost blooming for about three and a half weeks, almost four weeks, which is incredible. But as you can tell, they've done extremely well. We've been a lot more cold here in Southern California and definitely wet, which I think has been the perfect combination of weather for these things to do perfectly. One of the things that we need to remember about growing bulbs here in Southern California is that the bulbs need to be pre-chilled in order to um, allow them to bloom as you see before me. You can simply pre-chill them in your fridge or if you find a company that will pre-chill them for you, great. But that is definitely a must and something that cannot be overlooked. Anyway, if you remember to do that, I'm sure you're going to find success. Without further delay, let's take a look at the process and we hope you enjoy the video. Thanks guys. Take a look.
Hey everybody, we are at the halfway point of our tulip season and as you can tell, they are doing super well. They look fantastic and that trenching method, like I said, has allowed us to plant double the tulips that we planted last year. Now we use the auger method for the past two years, which was great. The only thing with that is you can only get them so close because if you an aug a hole and then put a bulb down and then aug the next hole, you run the risk of destroying the bulbs with the auger. So that really has been, you know, one of the things that we've had to watch for in the past. So we have these light pink tulips with a creamy white that eventually over time with age is supposed to turn a pure white. Um, I put a little bit of bone meal fertilizer down in here, but that's basically been it. Um, put a little bit of topsoil on top of it afterwards, but it's really been I think the weather that's helped these do super well this time around So anyways, we hope you enjoy our tulip video and we have more footage of the season right now for you to watch enjoy <music> 